Friends, it is time to get outside, get some fresh air, and play with your pup. Doesn't get much better than that, so we are looking at a few ways to enjoy Fido al fresco. Want to do more things with your fur baby? Well, you don't just have to walk them. There's a variety of different ways that you can exercise your dog's brain and keep them occupied. We spoke with Kimberly Vermillion, Director of Marketing and Communications for the Arizona Animal Welfare League to learn about some fun outdoor activities we can do with our pups. Starting with stand-up paddleboarding. Stand-up paddleboarding right now is a really fun, trendy thing to do. But before you dive in, you want to make sure that you're introducing them to water first, making sure they're comfortable with that, maybe putting the paddleboard out in your backyard, letting them sniff it around, kind of, you know, get used to it. To keep your four-legged friend safe, you have them in a life jacket. Just as that extra precaution, if they ever fall overboard, you don't have to worry about them going underwater. It will keep them afloat. Next, a farmer's market. Your dog likes going on adventures, likes to go on walks, loves people and other dogs, then farmer's market might be a good option to bring them. Sipping kind of Exploring their surroundings is a great way to exercise their brain. You just want to make sure you're keeping them on a leash and being aware of your surroundings. And be sure to check the weather report before heading out. Keep the weather in mind because if it's uh, warm outside, if the sun's been out, that asphalt or concrete can be really warm on your dog's paws and can actually be harmful. Our final activity, hiking. You don't want to just immediately take them on one that you know, might tire them out or they might get overheated. You want to start small, find a short trail, make sure that they're comfortable. And be sure to pack the essentials. Make sure you have plenty of water for yourself and for your pup, a portable water bowl, sun protection. If it's gonna be a little more rugged terrain, you can get them little booties to protect their paws as well. And Kimberly says always take your dog's temperament into consideration. If you know that it's a busy trail and your dog's a little more reactive to other dogs, you really just want to maybe try to find a trail that's not so busy or go early in the morning. And for any outdoor activity, she says it's important that your pup is fully vaccinated. Good girl. We're embracing the great outdoors with our four-legged friends.